Welcome to the 12 Step Recovery Evolution podcast. Visit recoveryevolution.co.uk for more episodes, helpful resources, and links to our social media. Also visit the site for information on how you can attend a future Zoom session or workshop live. Thank you. Good morning. I, going back to your five years, the first time I got sober for five years, I did exactly like you. I did volunteer work around drugs and alcohol, caffeine and everything, but I didn't have a sponsor. So within five and a half years, I was back out there. Now, I recently have let go of my sponsor because she's not really helping me. I had a drama couple of days, Tuesday, Wednesday, and yesterday, and I'm coming to three months sober and I'm able to not pick up a drink. But I did bring my sponsor, the sponsor I'm meant to have yesterday, to tell her what's happening, but she wasn't very supportive. So, you know, it just made me feel flat. And if so, what's the point in having you if you can't even give me advice? So what do I do for me, Lester? Well, again, I think this is a bit of a problem that may exist in the fellowship, and that's sort of a conversation that hopefully we can have with Dan and maybe ash it out a little bit, because um, is that, look, a sponsor isn't, you know, some, you know, we seem to esteem people that, that sponsor us quite a lot. You know, almost like some spiritual guru. And, you know, they're not really that. I mean, you know, most of us in the fellowship have got our own problems and, yeah, you know, good. we're doing our best. And, you know, I think it takes a good four years to straighten your head out. You know, I was taught it takes two years for your body to recover and four years to get your head straightened out. But, Nobody likes the four-year mark. I think we're the dysfunctions um, involved in it. I think if you're actually working on it, it can take up to 10 years to straighten some of that out. But in my experience, again, nobody wants to hear that because they're like, 10 years! But you get better on the way. But I do think you shouldn't esteem your sponsor too much. You know, they're just people as well. So I think really it's the danger of putting too much stock into any one person, which is why I really do like to promote the big book because, you know, the big book's really not a person. It's, it, but you need to work it out for yourself and work on it yourself, hopefully with the direction of, of other people that have done that. But I've always been a very resentful person. I've never had a sponsor I didn't resent, you know, or question or query and, you know, I've had in my life probably three sponsors up to date. They keep dying on me. That was but, the first sponsor I ever had. Yeah, but I can give you a big what list of all. I can give you a big list of all of their problems and their defects. But I learned to look a bit past that. And for me, the most important thing about these, you know, again, they were all older men than me. They'd all been around um, over ten years. They all had families. They all had jobs. And most of all, some of them wasn't, eventually, they wasn't as knowledgeable as me because they had full-time jobs being plumbers and things like that. I was spending all my life reading the big book and, you know, working with people as a job day in, day out. So eventually, I was kind of superseded them with knowledge. Didn't stop me phoning them because they loved me. And they would help me figure out what God was saying to me and what I should do next. And what I should, they would, they would reflect back to me what I needed to look at in myself. And so, again, you've got to kind of look past their issues. What the important thing is, are they mirroring back to me what I need to change in myself? And based on that criteria, Val, I would say that sponsor did that today, didn't they? They mirrored back how angry and how judgmental you are today. You see? So that's the important thing to learn, isn't it? It's, it's, it's about a good sponsor is a mirror. Not a mirror for you to, to stare at and try and change. They're, they're a mirror that you can look back at yourself. And what do I mean? Changing myself, do you understand? <laughs>